Hello, I'm Dr. Gisela Helfer. I am the Grant Secretary of the British Society for Neuroendocrinology. In this video, I will give you a few tips and tricks how to make your grant application successful. We are judging your grants on fit to BSN remit on your personal benefits and align science. To be fit for a BSN uh, remit, your application needs to be very neuroendocrinology based. We are not funding any uh, research that is physiology or endocrinology, so you need to make clear that this is a neuroendocrinology uh, research. And there should be a wider impact for the neuroendocrine community. And we also are looking for your commitment to the BSN. So for example, have you been at past BSN meetings? or have you uh, published in the Journal of Neuroendocrinology. This will be very beneficial for your application. Second, we judge for a personal benefit. So this means the possibility of the proposal to benefit your career and your research. This could be your research or you could employ a research student on the grant application, for example, for the research visit grants or the project support grants. We will look at, at the candidate and uh, judge the, can the quality of the candidate based on their track record. But don't worry, this is relative to your career stage. So if you are early postdoc or early in, in your career, the grants panel will take that into account. Further, we will look at the potential of the proposal to secure future funding. So when you write this section of personal benefits in their grant application, it is really important that you are very clear what you want to do with these data. For example, do you want to go for a fellowship? But then tell us when do you want to go, uh, when do you want to apply for this fellowship or what the fellowship is. So give us very clear indications so that the grants panel can see that you have thought your research through and that there is a clear benefit for you for your future. And then the most important part, we are judging the science and the quality of the project proposals. So we, here we are looking that the project is clear, um, it has a clear project hypothesis and aims, that you explain the backgrounds and the methods very well, and be aware that although it will be all, all neuroendocrinologists who are going to review your grants, if you, for example, work in circadian rhythms and someone works in reproduction, you do need to explain the background so that everyone can understand that. The simpler you do that, the better it is for the application because it's easier to read and that's what your reviewers like. We also look at the feasibility of the work program. So when you write your uh, project, give us clear hypotheses, give us clear objectives. How long will it take to, uh, to to get this data so that the reviewers see that you have really thought the application through properly. And then, for example, if you are planning to uh, gather pilot data with this uh, grant, make that very clear. Or if you think after, after the grant application you are ready for publication, so please make that very clear. We are very keen that all the research that we have fund from the British Society for Neuroendocrinology is published in the Journal of Neuroendocrinology. So if you, if you get a grant from us, you can um, write that in your cover letter to, your, to the senior editor that this has been funded by the British Society for Neuroendocrinology. Further, we are looking if, the, if there is appropriate skills training suggested, and this is particularly important for the uh, student um, laboratory grants. We want that if you have a student in your lab that you really think clearly through how the training is done, because the, the uh, student grants are about only nine weeks, so we need a t uh, clear timeline from you what, you what will be done in those nine weeks. And then we obviously are looking for innovative research, interesting and exciting research. So what happens when you have submitted your application? The first thing that happens is that our administrators are looking through your application and see if you're eligible. 
So, for example, that you have been a member for, for the society long enough and all the rules and the eligibility criteria are online, so please read them very carefully. We also look for if, for example, we are asking for a letter of support, if those letters of support are available. So if, if, you, don't, if you don't submit any, um, any letters of support that we are asking for, the grant will not be reviewed. Once we have um, all the grants have been looked through and they are all eligible, they come to the grant secretary, that would be me, and I will divide them then to our reviewers. The reviewers are any members of the British Society for Neuroendocrinology, so they are of the pool of our, of our experts. You will have three reviewers uh, looking at your grants. And then there, there will be a grant panel where the top grants uh, will be uh, discussed and we make a decision on who gets the funding. We do it by point system, but not necessarily the highest points uh, will get funded because we do look at how much that grant helps the individual. So if your personal benefit section is extremely good and we see that the grant is of high benefit for you, then it is more likely that you get the grant funded than if the personal benefit section is, um, is weaker. So these are the most important things uh, to look at. We often see really high um, quality uh, grant application in terms of the science, but then the application falls short in terms of the personal benefits. So please do make sure that you um, take enough time to write that section and that is very clear what are you going to do with this money and how is it going to help with your future. Once the grants panel has decided uh, for the funding, you will receive an email from our grant secretary that will give you an outcome. We, will, we are trying very hard to give you feedback on the application, so you will receive a few sentences of feedback. If that is not enough for you, you please, by all means, uh, feel free to send us an email and we will give you more feedback, because we are very keen to train our applicants to make the best application possible. Don't be too worried if your application isn't successful in the first round. We are very keen for you to resubmit your application, take the feedback that we provide for you and, we are, and you also can take advantage of the mentor system that we have in the BSN and ask your mentor to support you with the application and then resubmit your application. We often see that the second submission is then successful. So I hope that these few uh, tips and tricks have, will help you for a, a successful grant application. Best of luck.